True with Guns America SHOT Show 2024 Beretta's Range Day. I am here with John at the shotgun line and he is going to walk us through the changes to the 1301 Tactical Shotgun. So tell us what's new on this truck. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so the standard stock here, 1301, looks very similar to the Mod 1. The Mod 2 has some changes, however. Number one, you will notice the forend has changed. It's a much more aggressive grip texture, and it also has the M-lock, kind of like you saw on the A300 patrols in okay. the past. The tube up front doesn't look that much different, but it is now a two-piece tube. I can actually change out the front. It's because it's two pieces, I can take it apart and add additional links or more rounds to this tube where you couldn't do it as easily in the past. Okay, what is this, what's the capacity on this now? Seven plus one. Okay. At the, at the point it's at right now. you've got extra spacers that you can put in that, that increase that if you want to. Us right now, no. Okay. But after Mark, you'd be able to got do it, it, correct? Got it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, it's, it's open and clear now, but when I close this, you'll notice the lifter now is the pro style lifter it stays up and out of the way for easy loading okay the trigger is now a semi flat trigger you'll feel that you'll feel the difference when you shoot it it's a really nice trigger group okay. in there now otherwise it's all pretty much uh, pretty much the same from there on back okay so pro lifter semi flat trigger different stock two piece two four okay. major changes this is the standard stock it's shipping right now in black and the thing that you'll notice is we brought black, we, we brought back flat dark earth. We're bringing back OD green and we're bringing back the wolf gray. So we're gonna have color options again. Wow. Okay. We're also shipping this right now in black and flat dark earth with the Mesa tactical pistol grip. Okay. Now, fast forward down the road a ways, you'll enter in to the mod two with the chisel, chisel manufacturing stock. These will be built most likely in limited runs, maybe a thousand units, maybe 500, maybe 1500. We're not exactly sure yet, okay. but the chisel stock will come most likely in a folding capacity. This one's a fixed, but you'll notice some really interesting features here. It's first off, it's got the ability to take AR style AR grip mag. on it. This is a Daniel, Daniel defense, defense, for example, yep. on there now. It allows you to mount your red dot right on the stock, right in front of your, your line of sight where your eye's at. And there's okay. a lot of adjustability for the cheek the cheek riser, lower and rise, or lower and raise the cheek. You can also change the length of pull pretty easy on these. So these okay. will be more of a limited edition down the road to come. But, but they will be sold through you from the factory. Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. Okay. So very cool. So can you tell us MSRP? Give us an idea on price. Around eighteen forty nine on the standard stock, nineteen forty nine on the pistol grip stock. Okay. Are there? You'll have a little variance in flat dark earth versus black. You may pay fifty dollars less for the black than you will the color. Okay. But it's pretty simple. More, I believe. Okay, very good. All right, well, uh, guys, you can always go to Beretta's website for more information on the 1301 Tactical, and this is the Mod 2. Mod 2. So these are the newest, latest, updated version. Uh, we got the pick rail, we got the deep side, front side up here that's adjustable. Uh, yeah, this new texture on here is uh, really nice. One thing to note, maybe right off the start you won't have it, but eventually you, you should be able to be able to pick up some of these aftermarket parts. If you have a Mod 1 and you like that Pro Lifter, you should be able to buy a trigger group that goes in that gives you, you that semi-flat trigger and the That'd lifter nice. or a different forehand. That'd be nice. The forehand, I do believe, will uh, take a little bit of an adapter to it, but it'll come with it if it's an aftermarket. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, so guys, uh, I don't know how well you could see that before, but when you close this bolt, this lifter is just out of the way. You don't have to push it down in order to feed rounds into that tube. This has got a pretty good bevel to it, so uh, it's going to be easier to push rounds in there. All right, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Go to Guns America. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.